And now Qualcomm earnings, as I mentioned, are out. Christina Parts and Evelis, why is it down? Ah, that's because of its outlook. But let's go through EPS right now, $2.15 adjusted, which falls in line with expectations on revenue of $9.27 billion, a beat. But that's a more than 17% drop year over year, given how exposed Qualcomm is to the weak smartphone market. And I say that because Qualcomm actually pointed out in their report right now that handsets fell 14% year over year, while the Internet of Things, another category, continues to be impacted by high customer inventory levels and lower demand. So since customers need to continue to work through this inventory, Qualcomm's Q3 EPS guide fell into a range of $1.70 and $1.90. That is well below the $2.16 expected by Wall Street analysts. They also, this is according to Qualcomm, expect the Android and the auto market to be flat with IoT growing mid single digits. And so that's part of the reason why you're seeing shares down about 2.6%. Overall, though, it's a cautious tone set by the company. They say the environment is still challenging and they still have not seen evidence of a meaningful recovery in China. So the big, uh, I guess, we could say bet right now is the bottom in for handsets, just like we've talked about whether the bottom was in for for PCs with Intel. Um, it's just this ongoing guessing game for timing. Not quite as optimistic uh, in a way as the PC commentary, especially that part about China not being back. Also, a little interesting note here, Qualcomm saying a larger than normal uh, sequential decline in QCT revenues primarily due to the timing of purchases by a modem-only handset customer. That makes you think of Apple. I mean, it does. It does. You know. and for our audience, just so they know, Qualcomm separates the revenue streams into two. So QCT is pretty much the sales of chipsets and any uh, 5G wireless chips. And then the other category is licensing. So what you're pointing to, John, uh, shows that they are trying to diversify away. And I'm sure on the call they'll talk about that diversification, especially towards auto, which did grow but still contributes a very small portion of total revenue.